Well, many of you, we know we're hearing from you. You have been dealing for months now with the problem of unemployment benefits and just not getting the money that you're due. Now, in some cases, the benefits are being paid on time, sometimes not at all. So now the Unemployed Workers Union is taking its case back to court. It's demanding answers from the state's Department of Labor. So this is the group's second attempt at suing the agency. WJC is live for us right now at 9, and Amy Kawada explains the workers' demands and why the agency says it is dealing with this backlog. Amy. Hey, good morning, Denise. Well, in a new lawsuit filed yesterday, the Unemployed Workers Union is now calling on the circuit court to step in to review the State Department of Labor's handling of unpaid benefits. Now, this is something that they said that it's held up for far too long now. And the State Department of Labor says right now more than 99% of claims have been processed, citing a major backlog in claims throughout the pandemic. And while that backlog is nearly cleared now, it's been a challenge weeding through dishonest claims. In a statement to WJZ, a spokesperson for the agency says in part, quote, to date, our fraud prevention team has flagged nearly 2.3 million total claims and went on to say they've received more fraudulent claims than honest and deserving claims. People like Albert Neiman, who's listed on the lawsuit, claims the State Department of Labor owes him three months worth of pandemic unemployment assistance. There's 20 of us on this lawsuit, but that doesn't represent the number of people who are afraid to come forward or who have just given up out of frustration. Our petition argues that we need the court to step in as they are allowed to under law and review administrative actions that are in violation of the law. And last July, a similar lawsuit was filed by the union. However, a circuit court judge dismissed that motion. Reporting live at 9 this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ. So frustrating for a yes, lot of people. Absolutely. Thank you, Amy. So we're talking about the weather this